Government education curriculums have devolved into anti-American socialist Democrat propaganda. One Minnesota school required their fourth grade students to fill out an equity survey and then told the students not to tell their parents or any other adult in their life. Watch. During distance learning, I was asked to complete that equity survey. My teacher said that I could not skip any questions, even when I didn't understand. One question asked us what gentrify we identified with. I was very confused along with a lot of other classmates. A boy in my class asked my teacher if his mom could explain the question to him because even after the teacher explained it, he still didn't understand. My teacher told him that he was not allowed to ask his mom and that we could not repeat any of the questions to him. All right, joined now tonight by Kelsey Yaskar and her daughter, fourth grade student, Haley. Welcome to you both. Haley, I'm going to start with you. I'll, do us a favor and, and walk us through the questions your government-run school was asking on their equity survey. And then tell us who instructed you not to tell your parents. Well, when we were taking the survey, we were asked, like, what religion we were or what gender we identify with. I was very confused, along with a lot of other classmates. And then a little boy in my class asked if he could ask his mom what the question meant, because he was still confused, along with a lot of, uh, sorry, excuse me, um, the, after the teacher explained it, he was still very confused. Mm -hmm. Um, and I when I, well, the teacher said he could not ask his mom, I was very, you know, uncomfortable and nervous. Um, and like I was doing something wrong. We were not allowed to tell our parents about this survey. And it's not my teacher's fault um, because she was instructed to do this. Okay. All right. So you, you covered a lot of ground there, Haley. So I'm just I'm going to ask you. Just just briefly describe, how did you know what was the red flag that said, wait a minute, this is, this is, this is wrong. I, I should go home and tell my mom. What was, 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 it the, was it the attitude the teacher had? Did, did you sense the teacher didn't really want to tell you not to tell your parents? What was the big clue that you knew you had to tell your parents? Well, my mom always told me that I could tell her anything, um, but she also said I could always trust my teachers. So... Which I really, which I say now. Yeah, I hear you, man. I, Kelsey, I got to tell you, this is my child. I am livid. And when you found out what they were asking Haley to do, what was going through your mind? Well, I think what this comes down to is this is a violation of parental rights. My First Amendment right does not stop or does not end at the bus stop. And parents have a right to know what is being discussed and what is being taught to their or to their children at school. And it appears that the district violated not only their own school policy, but that they possibly violated federal and state law in the way that they carried this audit and this survey out and the lack of transparency that has resulted from this survey. I mean, we have been asking to see the questions from this survey, which is stated in law that we have a right to review these questions, yet the district has never obtained these questions from Equity Alliance Minnesota, which is that third company they brought in. And now Equity Alliance is refusing to release these questions. And it's very concerning to a lot of us parents and like like Haley did kind of touch on I do want to say that the administration and school district put our teachers in a terrible situation they gave very ambiguous instructions that resulted in Haley's experience and she's not the only person that has come forth and uh, you know said that they experienced a similar thing with this survey and with being instructed not to repeat these questions and this comes wow. down to a failure of leadership within our school district. Oh, th th this uh, well, this this breaks down to something far worse than a failure of leadership. In my in my opinion, if parents are paying the freight here, and if 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 you are being told as a parent that your kid has to take a survey and you as a parent can't see what your child is is being asked in the survey, that's uh, that's out of bounds. And let me just ask you, as a parent and as a taxpayer. When you found out that GovEd educrats were instructing your child to keep secrets from you, what were the range of emotions that you had? 
I was extremely upset. I felt like my rights were being violated, and I don't think it's okay. There is nothing that goes on when my daughter enters those school doors that I should not be aware about and that should not be shared with me. That is not okay to try to keep anything from us as parents because as her parent, I have the right to know what is happening when she goes to school every single day. Yeah, and Kelsey, with his experience, there are a lot of parents out there, as you mentioned, not only in Minnesota, but all over the country, experiencing these status and what they're doing to our kids. Does this, does this make you consider that school choice is something that needs to happen like yesterday? Yes, I 100%. I mean, I agree that any legislation that gives parents and kids an opportunity uh, to for expanding school choice, I think that's a positive thing. And I think that it's something that we should push for at, because as parents, we want to make sure our child is getting the best education that they can receive. No kidding. And if you guys had the power of the purse there, you could keep these educrats honest at the very least. Haley Yaskar, her mom, Kelsey Yaskar. Guys, thank you very much for carving out time for the Salcedo Show. Appreciate your story. You just watched Newsmax TV, America's fastest growing cable news channel now in more than 70 million homes. You can get Newsmax TV on your cable system or check your cable guide. And if your system doesn't carry Newsmax, call them. Tell them you want Newsmax TV because we're real news for real people.